Powerful Galactic Beings, welcome back to another video. There are many times in life when people misunderstand each other. It can always happen in personal relationships, work, or general situations. Misunderstandings can often lead to conflict, hurt feelings, and even resentment. Sometimes, people may not even realize they are being misunderstood. Communication is vital in such circumstances because of the process of sending and receiving messages that create understanding. It is a process that involves encoding, transmitting, decoding, and receiving messages. The sender is the person who makes the message, and the receiver is the person who gets the message. The sender and receiver use symbols to communicate. The sender encodes the message into characters, and the receiver decodes the message into understanding. There are many reasons why misunderstandings happen. One reason is that people often communicate with different purposes in mind. For example, one person may be trying to persuade another to do something, while the other may be trying to get information. Another reason is that people often have different ways of interpreting the same message. For example, one person may interpret a message as being critical, while the other person may interpret the same message as being helpful. Another reason why misunderstandings happen is that people often have different levels of understanding. For example, one person may better understand another person. It can happen when people have different levels of knowledge or experience. Finally, misunderstandings can happen when people do not notice the message. It can happen when people are distracted, tired, or not interested in the topic. There are many ways to prevent misunderstandings. One approach is to be very clear about the point you want to make when communicating. Another technique is to be aware of the other person's communication goal. Make sure your message is simple to understand while still being comprehensive. Another method is to pay attention to the nonverbal and body language cues the other person gives. Finally, you can ask the other person to clarify anything you do not understand. One of the most common reasons for misunderstanding is miscommunication. It can happen when people are unclear about what they are saying or speaking different languages. Miscommunication can also happen when people use different communication forms, such as text, email, or social media. Perspectives can also be viewed differently, which adds to the confusion. Different people can come to very different conclusions about the same event, leading to confusion. Another common factor that contributes to misunderstandings is assumptions. People frequently form opinions about others based on their personal experiences and beliefs. These assumptions can lead to misunderstanding and conflict. One of the most common reasons for misunderstanding is miscommunication. When two people are trying to communicate, there is always the potential for misunderstanding. It is because communication is not always clear and concise. Many factors can contribute to miscommunication, such as language barriers, cultural differences, and different communication styles. Language barriers can prevent two people from understanding each other. If two people speak different languages, they cannot communicate effectively. Even if they speak the same language, there can still be misunderstandings if they have different dialects or use different words to mean the same thing. Cultural differences can also contribute to miscommunication. People from different cultures have different ways of communicating. They might use different gestures, facial expressions, and body language. They may also have different expectations about how communication should take place. Differences in communication styles can also cause miscommunication. Some people are direct in their communication, while others are not indirect. Some people are verbal, while others are more nonverbal if two people with communication styles understand each other. Miscommunication can also occur when people have different levels of knowledge or experience. If one person is more knowledgeable about a topic than the other, there is a potential for misunderstanding. Miscommunication can also occur when people have different levels of experience. For example, a doctor may misunderstand a patient if the patient does not have the same medical knowledge as the doctor. There are many ways to prevent misunderstanding. The best way to prevent misunderstanding is to be clear and communicate clearly and concisely that you are using the exact words to mean the same thing. Be aware of cultural differences and try to communicate in a way that is respectful of those differences. Be aware of your communication style and try to adjust it to match the communication style of the person you are talking to. Finally, 
try to understand the topic you are discussing mutually. Make sure you are both on the same page before talking. Miscommunication can cause misunderstanding, but it can also result from a misunderstanding. If you think there has been a misunderstanding, the best thing to do is ask the person you are talking to. Clarify what they meant by what they said. If you are unsure, you can ask a third person for their opinion. The important thing is not to make assumptions about what the other person means. Miscommunication is common, but it does not have to lead to misunderstanding. With clear and concise communication, you consent to misunderstandings and maintain a good relationship with the people you talk to. Other reasons why misunderstandings happen are due to the different perspectives that people have. Here are some examples of how different perspectives can cause misunderstandings. Different cultures have different perspectives. Different cultures have different ways of looking at the world. They also have different values and beliefs. It can lead to misunderstandings when people from different cultures interact. For example, someone from a collectivist culture may not understand why someone from an individualist culture is acting in a certain way. Alternatively, someone from a high-context culture may not understand why someone from a low-context culture behaves in a certain way. People have different experiences. People have different experiences and backgrounds. It can lead to misunderstandings because people may interpret things differently. For example, someone who has experienced much violence may interpret a situation differently than someone who has not experienced violence. People have different beliefs. People have different beliefs about the world. It can lead to misunderstandings because people may disagree on what is true or correct. For example, someone who believes in ghosts may not be able to understand why someone who does not believe in ghosts is not scared in a situation where there is a ghost. Different beliefs can lead to misunderstandings because people may disagree on what is true or correct. It is essential to respect other people's beliefs, even if you disagree with them. People have different ways of communicating. People have different ways of communicating. It can lead to misunderstandings because people may not be able to understand each other. For example, someone who is a visual learner may not be able to understand someone who is an auditory learner. It can be a problem because it can lead to miscommunication and cause people not to be able to understand each other. It is essential to be aware of the different ways people communicate and try to communicate in a way that the other person will understand. People have different levels of understanding. People have different levels of understanding. It can lead to misunderstandings because people may be unable to explain things to each other. For example, someone who is not very intelligent may not be able to understand someone knowledgeable. People have different ways of processing information. It can lead to misunderstandings because people may not be able to understand each other. For example, someone who is a visual learner may not be able to understand someone who is an auditory learner. It is essential to be aware of the different ways people process information and try to communicate in a way that the other person will understand. Misunderstandings are a part of life, but they can be frustrating and isolating experiences. If you find yourself in a situation where you are being misunderstood, there are a few things you can do to try to clear up the misunderstanding. First, try to explain your position again, using different words or examples. If the other person still does not seem to understand, try to find a third party who can help mediate the conversation. Finally, if all else fails, it may be necessary to leave the situation and return to it later. The most important thing to remember is that you are not alone. Misunderstandings happen to everyone, and they can be resolved. With patience and understanding, you can usually find a way to clear up any misunderstanding. I hope this video was really helpful to you, see you in the next video. Peace, love and life.